players and gamers shouldn't have to be literal tech wizards to make the game work. Whenever we get any new changes or any fixes, it never translates to single player. Bro, can we just fix this? Like, yo, 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 what is up? A long time, but we are reacting to Ras Clark. The monstrous Dreadnoughtus gets his first proper Oof. reveal. Do we now know why Ragnarok was replaced with Extinction? No, I think. It's Ras Clark and what Bob's is up, art. my guy? Community what is up? What is up? We begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share, road, and let's get into it. With our first proper look at the Dreadnoughtus added with the Ascended Remaster of Extinction arriving on December the 16th. And it's a powerhouse. Got a bit of a. Hey, <laughs> yo! Hey, yo! Ras! Hey, yo! You gotta say no diddy with that. <laughs> The thing is, right, I find it so fascinating because it looks so, like, bioorganic, but it also looks, like, you know, tech-based. Because all the blue, like, lights in it, it's really weird. I want to know, like, what they, what they do with the combination of, like, the tech-basedness and organicness, you know? These players all adorning the cool new Extinction Wasteland War skins. We're gonna get Those skins to do look real nice. The Bob's Tall Tales DLC pack. We can see what appears to be new weapons being wielded, dual wielded. I don't think those are new weapons. I think those are skins for the spear and things. That's what I think. Kind of curious what exactly these are. They look like perhaps something you need to tame this with. But my oh, it could be. It could be. At tech spear. Is this a little hint giveaway at a new weapon coming with the map when it arrives in December? With the devs explaining that this is a monster with anything below the size of a spino, it's simply ignoring and unleashing a sound so forceful it Damn. disrupts the very essence of elements. Well, so basically, yeah, we already knew it. The Dreadnoughtus is about to make regular titans from the island, like, just obsolete. Bruh, these things are going to be destructive. The only problem is you can actually tame these things. That's gonna be so breaking. From day one, this is gonna be the dino you're gonna want to tame if you wanna take mm. on the titans with a wonder how better it's gonna be over any other yeah because right now we do it like gigas oh, max and a few different say, uh, we, confirm we are options. gonna get another community creature vote so was it in this okay season? just kind of wondering was it meant to be definitely gonna be for valguero next year valguero no 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 it's valguero you can't butcher that name it's valguero okay <laughs> valguero okay that's my favorite map see about the recent patch with cryopods that's right PG yes players, you know back to normal to anything you want and throw it straight out like you know ASE PvP players you're still restricted to yeah cryo fridges are but the, here's the thing right we were promised that they were fixing it yet I'm seeing people tell me in the comments that they tried to do it yet it's not working but single players out there you might think what's going on because if I try to cry apart anything and uncryo it's out it's still not working for me what's going on even changing the game mode to pve doesn't seem to help you either right so right when that patch arrived earlier in the week it only affected servers wasn't a major oh update. okay to install that update and right okay parts working as intended though we're gonna see a giant major update apparently really soon so sadly you're restricted to either changing the game user settings iron night if you're on PC, of course, by entering disabled cryopod. Wow. Like, that's like, how is that fair? How is that fair? The thing is, right, whenever we get any new changes or any fixes, it never translates to single player. A lot of people like the singles player experience and the game just like single player has been broken since evolved and it's still not working. Like there's so many things that I'm like, bro, can we just fix this? Like it's making the game impossible to play on single player and it's just really frustrating. Awaiting the certification with Sony and Microsoft when it drops hopefully early next week or just downloading using one of the many. Yeah, we have to use CryoPad mods that mm. are right there now and Xbox users. S CS yes, is really good. Which can install whatever you want now. Because that's right, a recent patch drops to Xbox allowing up to 50 gig worth of Ooh. mod installs. You guys were telling me that you guys were so pissed that you couldn't get a lot of mods. Now you get 50 gigs worth of mods. Okay, that's pretty cool. Because I know when I was doing streams and things, people were like, oh, I can't like super mega mod my game because I have a limit on how much I could uh, install. But that's pretty nice. That's, that's a, good, a good update from them. A major pivotal moment in negotiations between CurseForge and Microsoft to allow a giant amount of space for mods on a game console pretty 
unprecedented. Mm -hmm. Though sadly in result of everybody lost their mods. Oh. That happened and it was a bit of a shame that wasn't announced to double the result. Yo, yeah, because whenever any mod updates and things and if it breaks and you uninstall it or it uninstalls itself, if you start your game and you go into it without the mod activated, you lose everything that that mod holds. So if you had like, for instance, an SES mod for a cryopod and you had all your modded dinos in it and then you went in and the SES mod wasn't updated, you lose everything. And if you don't have a backup, all the progress saves on the next time you exit the game. So when you say exit and go to main menu, then exit the game, it literally saves that and that's now your saved file. And then you're screwed and you, oh, damn, damn. Yo, if you lost your stuff, F and chat gang, <laughs> that's crazy. Now, if you are playing, especially if you're on PC, always have a backup. That's one thing I've learned so far since I've came onto PC is always back up your save file so you can go back to the last time. Every time you log out, single player, go to your folders, get the file and put a backup file somewhere because you're going to need it. Shame to see, always mm. make sure you're backing up your saves. Yeah, you but again, no, you. guys, again, we shouldn't have to. We shouldn't have to do that. Things should work. We shouldn't have to back up our files. We shouldn't have to have all these backup folders. We, we, should, we should be able to just play the game and the game should work as intended. But again, still back up your stuff, guys. We know, I think in a time where cross-play mods are a thing for everybody now, for who play ARK, except for PlayStation. <laughs> Executive producer just did reply to Okay, I'm sorry. The only reason I'm laughing is because I was a PlayStation player and I moved from PlayStation. Like bruh, my PS4 is literally here on my table right now, gang. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you're playing this tonight, I feel sorry for you. Don't worry guys. I, I honestly I don't understand your pain, but I sympathize with you because that's crazy. We're gonna have a little bit of bad news, unfortunately, given to us. Though, in light of something I think everybody agrees on. Wildcard explains, look, they listen to us, they understand. We don't want to fence on Club Arc. Whilst it's a great yeah, we don't. for experiment. We don't want to go into Club Arc, okay? We don't want to go into Club Arc. Stop that, okay? With new styles of play, nobody seems to want their events restricted to Club Arc and Wildcard. One hundred percent. Who would who would want that? Maybe had plans for Turkey Trials to be going to Club Arc. And right. Of that and them not having the capacity to roll out a full-blown Turkey Trials event, you're not going to get it. Unfortunately, you're going to get Dino Colors and increased rates. And what? Okay. Oh wait. No. 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 So because they wanted. To restrict it to Club Arc, and we said, "F no." They just said, "You're not getting it." That's bullshit. That is. We're well, gonna get the colors and whatnot, but we're not gonna get the actual event. Why? 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 Why, bro? This that's ridiculous. Because we don't want you guys to restrict it. You're just not gonna give it to us. So it's it's like you take what we give you, or you're getting nothing. After being loyal to the game for so many years, and this thing being a thing that's been going on for so many years, that is so unfair. What the hell? Nah, I can't, I can't stand that. Nah, nah, that's bull. And that's about it with Turkey Trials. A bit of a shame to see, of course. The yeah, a bit of a shame. Gets, uh, Raz, it ain't a bit of a shame. Big shame. Big shame. Your very own Dodo Rex for a limited yeah. time, and those killer turkeys all wrecking havoc on your beaches. But, you know, it was... In the grander scheme of things, a much smaller offering of an event, so not too big of a deal. And yeah, it is. But sure they're planning how many times do we get to tame the Dodo Rex? Even if it's for a short time, how many times do we get to? There's no other event that we can do that in, right? So it's like, yeah, it's a small thing, but it's a milestone that some people get to hit, you know, at least once a year. Like it's it's, it's a milestone that they just removed. Um, One particular note that got my spidey sense tingling was this loan that they've been trying to pay back for quite a while. It's due for repayment a deadline date in of December. December the 31st 2024 where they've Damn. got a balance of three million left to pay and oh. if they don't gonna fall into some stocks and shares controlling with the company that have loaned them money try and invest into the things that you know work i.e arc stop yeah oh okay. thank you right you finally said it they need to stop investing in things that don't work even in arc 
Stop investing in things that don't work. You know what works. You know what makes us happy. You know what's going to give you more money. Instead of investing in things that don't work and losing money and having to blend money and now you can't pay back your loans, invest in the things that work, that you know work, that you know we like, that you know we are willing to buy and we want to buy. Stop tricking us with giving us things and then taking away their value. That's going to make the money start going slower, guys. Just give us the things you know we like. It's, just, it's that simple and it's going to help you guys keep your stock Time. This December the 31st loan agreements definitely got me thinking that Ragnarok, right, that was meant to be the next map that we thought we was going to get and no, it was Extinction. Yeah. And I think it's clear to see there's a final push to try and drive sales for the last instalment of the Bob's Tall Tales pack to try and... Ah, uh, right, that, that makes sense. And shares to any yeah, so basically they pulled back Ragnarok so they could put out Bob's Tall Tales to try make more money and it's like but it's like and when it comes to Bob's Tall Tales when you buy the original pack you own everything you're not making more money because it's not going to be that many people to buy the Bob's Tall Tales again it has to be a thing of where you bring something be it cosmetics or something that's standalone that's actually worth people buying because Bob's Tall Tales, if you own it, you own everything. You're not going to make much more money from that. And a lot of people don't want to even buy Bob's Tall Tales. Like a lot of people don't even want to enter giveaways for Bob's Tall Tales. So make something like cosmetics. Even the whole Power Ranger thing was pretty nice. I like that. Do things like that where people are more willing to buy it. And if you put it at a lower price, more people are going to be available to buy it. So you end up making just a little bit more money than putting it at a super absorbent price that no one wants to buy. Extra Think about far. new freaking no, Ragnarok it? skins. Though, three million is still a hefty amount to it's hefty. Back. I guess we had the Dreadmare recently that was met to a resounding welcome. Yeah, no, that was good. So fantastic. So far, Dreadmare is the best addition they've done so far, in my opinion. It's new, it looks good, and it has some really unique things, and I just like the design. The design is really nice. We've seen Pegasus in this game for a long time, and now we have a variant of that in the official game. I do like it. So yeah, this is the kind of things we need and we want that we will willingly pay for. This one you're all loved and i'm sure exactly. wildcard and snail are taking note of what they've done right with this one and may even try and push dare i say it if they're trying to hit that three mil figure by the end another fantastic beast before the let's end. see what they bring out that if you find one out that means they're really trying to drive those sales yeah they want to get the sales up so don't lose those stocks and shares and I guess some offered clarity there definitely offers to understand the schedule format we've had so far. With a wonder whatever happens at the end of the year, what is the proposal for ARC's income following that? I think I very firmly fixed on possibly seeing, hearing news of this story map that Jesse and Jeremy... Yeah, 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 yeah. If they really want to make money, I think they need to early next year or mid next year, say mid next year start rolling out this new story map i feel like that's where an influx of players is going to come from because that is new it's fresh and it's being fresh and it's been allegedly going to be perfect because it's built on this system is going to bring people back that's where i think they make a lot of money and they make a lot of long-term money is that so they need to actually work on that if there's anything that they have to make perfect the new story map that is it during the extra life event i get that there's a possibility we might see news surrounding this don't forget it is arc's 10 year anniversary yeah. and perhaps we'll get a planned date for that celebrating that 10 year anniversary or maybe just an announcement for whatever that's going to be looking forward to it especially the cars in particular i'm looking forward to how exactly yeah i want to see how they work you know i just want how they work and how much they're going to take priority over dinos or not at all or are they going to be uh, well i think they're going to take priority over smaller dinos i don't think they're going to take priority over bigger dinos or flyers but i think they will take like instead of using thylas to get around on wastelands or using like sabers early game or whatever I feel like you can use one of these and it's going to be, maybe it'll be easier to get because it will be made with metal and things that you can harvest on extinction. So yeah, I feel like it's not going to do too much against big dinos, but the smaller ones, yeah, it'll take a little bit from them. Aligned with dinos, it's a real new step in Ark's direction and, and I can't wait to simply just use these in Mario Kart style of vets. So, <laughs> till the next one, my name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and as always, Ark. Uh, See ya later, my guy. But yeah, the Dreadnought's going to be, it's going to be very different because I want to see how it's going to affect the game, not just PvE, but PvP as well, because having a dino like that, that is that strong, there has to be a way where it's balanced. Maybe it's going to be weaker against turrets, tech turrets or things like that, 
maybe there's going to be a new weapon or a new thing you can use to weaken it. Because if you bring a Dreadnought to someone's base and it's as powerful as where it's killing the King Titan or the Titans themselves, it's like, hey, we can't have that thing roaming around, especially if it's breedable because it's going to be tameable. So now if it's breedable and that's a thing, that's going to be crazy. The whole cryopod thing, it's like, again, I haven't really tried it out myself. I, I think it's working on official, but I don't know if it's working on single player yet. Because a lot of people, like you guys are telling me, like, you still can't do it. Um, but again, they said they're trying to get that fixed. Hopefully it's fixed in the next few days. I think it should be, but it's just annoying that I don't, I feel like players and gamers shouldn't have to be literal tech wizards to make the game work. Why do we have to go to our any files to change things? Why do I have to go to do all these meddling with all these tech and coding things? We don't need to do that. So it's really annoying. I feel like that's a big thing that they're kind of like missing out on. You shouldn't have to be a tech wizard to play a game. That's not the point. You guys are the tech wizards. We are the players. The consumer, like, do you know how to build a car? No, but you know how to drive the car. We should be able to drive the game, not to build the game, not go into all these files. It's just really annoying, and I hate that. That's one of the things about ARK that's just like, come on, guys, do better. But yeah, let's see Let's see what they do when, it, when Extinction comes out. I feel like we are probably going to get a new Fantastic team. I think if they do things correctly and they do, and they do things properly, we can actually make that $3 million that they're, try, they're trying to pay back. We can definitely hit that number. But we need a good Fantastic team and we need more official cosmetics. More official cosmetics that make sense and actually add to the map's aesthetic is going to be perfect because people are going to be more inclined to buy things like that. So that's what we need to work on. Because if you think about all the unofficial cosmetics that people are paying money for, imagine you make official ones that are better. People are going to pay for them. It is what it is. So I think they need to be looking at things like that and not just focusing on all these crazy dinosaurs or additions that don't make sense, like the pyromane, for example. Like, you know, things like that that people don't like. Stop looking at that. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe. Go check out Raz Park on his channel as well. Make sure to give him a like and subscribe over there as well. And I'll see you guys on the next one.